They don't know each other's names. They don't speak the same language, but they cling to one another like mother and daughter. One is a refugee from Syria, the other an Australian volunteer. A South Florida woman is helping shine a light on the Syrian refugee crisis. As CBS4's Lauren Pastrana explains, one aid worker is saving lives while giving a glimmer of hope. Allison Thompson is a full-time humanitarian volunteer who has dedicated her life to the Ignatian value of service to others. We're going from here to here. Yeah. Every 10 days. Yeah, it's getting quite I'm dizzy. I, I mean, I've been absolutely exhausted. Allison recently took a break from her rescue work to spend some time at home in Miami. But now she's already back overseas where thousands of refugees have lost their lives. Allison says gut wrenching scenes like this one are more common than she cares to think about. Allison says the refugees often arrive in the dead of night, and then it's a roughly 31 mile walk to the nearest camp through the unknown darkness. So these little lights uh, lead the way all the way up the mountain, but also I go up to the refugee camps and give them. And in turn, people's faces light up with renewed hope. Thank you. And they just kiss the floor and, and start, are in shock that they're finally at safety. And we just reach out and just give them love and say, look, you're safe now. She says smiles like these make each physically grueling and emotionally draining trip worth it. Ms. Thompson served as a first responder during 911 and continued to volunteer there for nine months, sparking her decision to dedicate her life to helping those in need. Well, I was living on the Upper East Side in New York City, and September 11th happened, and I ended up rollerblading down there with a little medical kit. And I really learned that there's a space for the volunteer to, to get in there and help. That's where I really got the passion for volunteering. She has run internally displaced persons camps following the 2004 tsunami in Sri Lanka. A big tsunami had hit in Sri Lanka. And I thought, oh, it's Christmas holidays. Yeah, I can go for two weeks. So I jumped on a plane and just arrived on the ground, thousands of miles destroyed. So I just ended up setting up a field hospital, thinking I was staying for a few days more. <laughs> ended up being there for a few years and rebuilding a village. And the 2010 earthquake in Haiti in 2010, a powerful earthquake devastated Haiti, killing over 230,000, leaving millions homeless. I flew there with 10 doctors, thousands of cliff bars, eight bottles of whiskey, and an outspoken actor named Sean Penn. We had all our bases covered. In doing so, ended up running a 65,000-person internally displaced persons camp and a field hospital. Look at those little fingers. <laughs> She also founded the first Tsunami Early Warning Disaster Center in Sri Lanka and created Third Wave Disaster Aid Command Center following Hurricane Sandy in New York. For the past three years, Ms. Thompson has also led a student anti-gun violence march on the south side of Chicago. All I do is to try to give unconditional love, you know, that's all I try to do and I try to keep politics aside and everything else aside and just help human beings and that's what we've got to come back to. The world doesn't survive without love. If we're so caught up in everything else, it's humanity caring for each other and that's what I try to focus on and I do see the worst of the worst of mankind but I also see the best of the best. Ms. Thompson is the creator of the award-winning documentary The Third Wave which describes her experiences in Sri Lanka and has authored a book by the same title. She was named the first official ambassador to the Haitian Ministry of the Environment and was awarded the Order of Australia, the highest civilian medal given by the Australian government and Queen Elizabeth II for her contributions to humankind. Each tent is getting one of these lights and these are solar lights and no batteries needed and we are very very grateful to have this now and to help the community thank you these are the solar puff lights that we're using it's pitch black out there it's a different situation at night when um the boats arrive you don't see them until they're a few feet away and they suddenly land you know on the rocks so we're going to light up the whole shoreline with the solar puff lights we're going to give 
24 hours of light, recharged in the sun, and they're waterproof. So we can actually put them on the boats and see what we're doing. So these are little magic solar puff lights. There's really not a lot, not a lot of love left in the world. You know, and we just gotta love each other, otherwise we're gonna kill each other, there's gonna be no one left. I really hope that this will really inspire everybody just to get out there, even one week in their life, just to get out there and help others and just give back because there's so much need out there in the world and it's just time for everyone now to step up and do it.